So hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. Nearly 6 million WordPress websites may be affected by bugs in three plugins. Now, I have been working on mainly WordPress websites for the past five years. So the vast majority of my clients have WordPress websites and WordPress is probably the most trusted uh, CMS and it's also the most, uh, I think WordPress it's probably not the most trusted CMS, but it's a CMS of choice because it's open source and it's easy to use and you can customize the way how it looks and functions when for, for literally, I guess, thousands of plugins, if not more. But uh, WordPress is also vulnerable. So every now and then, loads of WordPress websites will get hacked. A lot of my clients were hacked. And I, whenever I get a client, I tell them, you know what, you should first secure your site. And securing the WordPress site is not hard. We do it as part of a service. So if someone hires us to do their SEO, we say, you know what? This is something that also needs to be done. We charge them a little bit extra and my in-house guys just, you know, patch up all the vulnerabilities. But it does not mean that this is something you can do on your own. If you're a little tech savvy, you can do this on your own. But if you don't do it, you're gonna get hacked. Now, there are a few common plugins uh, that have now been reported to have a vulnerability or vulnerability. So it says that there are three severely, there's three severely vulnerabilities that are prone to unauthorized cross scripting XXS attacks, which is also, by the way, the most common attack on WordPress sites. Uh, attack that lets attackers inject malicious scripts via leading WordPress plugins uh, were observed. The bugs could potentially impact 6 million WordPress installations. So security pros advise taking them seriously. In May 29, in May 29 blog post, Fastly, researchers said the attack payloads they observe inject a script tag that points to an obfuscated, obfuscated JavaScript file hosted on an external domain. Uh, and so the three vulnerable ones are, the first bad bug is a CVE 2024-2194 affected WB statistics. Now WB statistics is a very, very commonly used WordPress plugin and it mainly shows uh, the clicks to your site, the number of visitors, gives you a nice graph. Um, there's a free version, there's a paid version. I have not used it lately, but WP uh, Statistics has had its issues in the past, and so I don't recommend using it. But if you still have it on your website, you might wanna uh, disable it or remove it. Um, the second bug is a CVE 2023-6961. Uh, in the WP Meta SEO, a plugin that has more than 20,000 installations. So the Meta SEO plugin is not a very common one. I have not used this plugin. I imagine it's like uh, all-in-one SEO pack or, or a rack math or something similar. Uh, if you're, you know, honestly, you shouldn't be using these plugins. They have, they have no use at all. If you're serious about your SEO, you shouldn't be relying on these plugins because they don't help you do SEO, they just help you with doing, I don't know, just, it's, yeah, it's, they, they have no use at all. And finally, the CVE 2023-40,000 hit the Lightspeed cache plugin. Now, this is the one that many of my clients use and I use on my site, so this is really surprising because it has, this has been very stable. The plugin has like 5 million installations and it's a really good plugin. We, I use it a lot. Uh, my clients use it a lot, but I think now we're going to have to think about uh, either looking for a way to patch it or to, you know, if, it, if you can find a patch for it, then replace this plugin. So if you're using any of these plugins, you might want to think about just uh, disabling them for now or finding an alternative uh, until there is a patch uh, or an update to them, which there isn't as of right now, but uh, you might want to you might want to disable it for now. The, there's a link to the article. You guys can read the article in its entirety. It goes over some technical stuff. But yeah, you don't. You certainly do not want your website to get hacked. It's very bad. And many times it's hacked and there's a backdoor planted on the site and the site owner has no idea that that has happened. So, you know, that's even worse and than, than defacement. So might as well take it seriously, fix the site, and you know, just disable these plugins, fix the site, patch it up, make sure your security headers are in place, you know, just make sure that everything is as 
tight as it can be before you spend time and effort on you know SEO. So let me know in the comments below if you use any of these plugins and if your site was recently hacked and how you went ahead and recovered your site. Like and subscribe and all this and I will see you in the next video.